effective velocity is basically location adjusted speed. On the right, you've got a 92 mile an hour fastball. Miguel Cabrera has hit many of those into the cheap seats. But this one, he's not even close to being on time. He's very, very late. How can you tell? A couple things. One, the lead arm being really bent. He's drawn his hands in towards his chest, meaning that he realizes that he's late. The ball is passing over the handle part of the bat rather than the sweet spot. That's another indicator that he's very late. And his weight is staying on his backside. That's another indicator that he's late. So he's very, very late to that pitch. 92 EV mile or 92 miles an hour. On the left, you see a cutter at 88 miles an hour. And yet he's off the end of the bat. Very different picture with his lead arm. It's completely locked out. In fact, maybe even overextended. And he's reaching and still misses the ball off the end of his bat. Now, the reality of that is really hard to understand unless you, unless you see it from the side. But what's happening is the location of each of these pitches is dramatically changing the reaction time. So let's take a look at these overlaid. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, that's the clock that tells us that where the ball's at in space. Both of these are right on top of each other, right to this point. Now the fastball starts to move in and the cutter starts to move to down and away. But Miguel Cabrera is making the same swing. He's making the same swing because out of the hand, both of these look like outside fastballs. But neither of them are. So he's very late on the fastball in, very early on the cutter away, even though there's only four miles an hour of real speed between those two. But the effective speed is about 97 on the up and in fastball. And it's about 84 on the down and away perfectly located cutter. So there's really a 13 mile an hour differential which would explain the actions that we see and how late and how early he is. Whereas four miles an hour doesn't even come close to explaining why the best hitter, one of the best hitters in modern day baseball, looks so badly on both pitches.